Safe. Dang, dude. That color is sweet. Don't that look right? What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we basically knocked out all of our stonework. All we got left is a little bit more patching to go up front, but I think we're gonna knock that out today. And also you seen previously where we created a huge massive sample on a piece of plywood over here. We slapped on some stone and some hardy and some trim. And we got a few different combinations here. As you can tell, we got some solid painted stone. We got some whitewashed stone and we got a bunch of different paint scenarios that are possible for this house. But we did see your comments about leaving the stone natural and I think we're actually gonna do that and just paint the hardy board and the trim itself. And I can't wait to get to any of that paint, but we still got a good bit more to go actually like finishing up that stone and also installing the last two windows on the back end of this house. That way we can finish up with all of this hardy. So I say we just go ahead and set up all of our tools and equipment up front and try to finish up the rest of the stone. Alrighty guys, so check this out. A quick little update on what we got done here. We made it to the very top right there. And I gotta say, this was extreme Tetris, dude. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be the most difficult part about this whole entire brick or I mean stone stone, stone job that we have been doing. The door area right here, since there is a bunch of original stones that we had to chip off, we have to work with all those stones. And it happened to be the most time consuming, more than even that back wall that we did dude, over there, dude. this is crazy, but look how well everything matched up. I gotta say, dude, I don't think we're gonna be painting any of this stone, man. Dude, probably not, man, because that just looks so good, man, especially up front here. In the back, it's a little different story, but once you start looking around the door, how perfectly all the stone is, it just looks so good. Dude, it looks good. This is probably a huge uh, size of sign of relief for most people right now <laughs> we've oh, seen yeah. all those comments everybody's like saying don't paint the stone and i don't think we will dude but as of the top right now we're actually going to do something a little bit different right yeah well we're actually going to try to mimic what was up there before uh, we ripped out the window there was like a little line of like six inch tall stone that went across and it actually looked pretty good it gave it a little bit of character above the door or something yep. like that so instead of going horizontal i think it was vertical up and down yeah hot dog style not hamburger style <laughs> yeah well, we got it we got it kind of laid out right here what we're gonna do so we're just gonna do like a little strip right here we're definitely gonna cut them all the same length that way it just looks really good yeah and we have been using the grinder a whole bunch you know what i mean oh yeah definitely the grinder came in handy because you know we had to work around all the original stone we had to really just cut and we actually went through like hundreds and hundreds of pieces of stone because i mean look at this we got all of our boxes out here and we are running kind of low man dude we are running low hopefully we have enough to actually do this little transition thing right here because uh, we may have to cut that down because i think those are like too wide right there we yeah, may even have to bring in the actual saw the chop saw type <laughs> of deal dude <laughs> we're gonna definitely do some cutting we're definitely gonna probably like make them like a lot thinner pieces that way it just flows properly i mean we should have enough we got a couple big pieces that we can split in half and stuff like that so i think we can make something more yeah. dude let's go ahead and i guess have at it do some measurement lines and try to use the rest of our mortar here yeah i guess this is our last bit right that's the last of it we're probably gonna have to run down the mountain but i guess as of right now let's keep moving let's do it
What you do with that guap? Throw it away, man. Man, we just ran out of mortar and uh, we were looking all over the house, hopefully to find some. We could run down to the store, but how much time do we got left in we daylight? Had like, we had like a few hours of daylight and I believe the store, not a few hours, a few minutes of daylight, but the store closes in like five minutes and it's like a 10 minute drive down the mountain. So we just said, you know what? Let's just test out some concrete mixture right here. We tried actually getting the pebbles out of it because I believe they put pea gravel inside concrete mixture, but there was still tons of like tiny, tiny little pebbles and it just wouldn't stick at yeah, all. It dude. would not stick. We tried whatever we could. We tried to just overcome this little, this little, what would you call it? A little hiccup. Yeah, a little hiccup, man. We just, we were just missing one bag of mortar and we could have got the whole entire thing, dude. but we were just trying to finish it up because it's just starting to look so good. And dude, you can't even tell that this door was ever replaced. That's what it. I'm you know saying. What I mean? It looks absolutely amazing. If you, even if you step all the way back and I really wanted to have that all complete right there, just to say we finished it, but you know, know what? what? I hate doing that, man. I hate not finishing something that's so little and so easy to finish. You know what I yeah, mean? It does suck to run out of time, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. We're going to come back in here tomorrow morning strong, probably oh, knock yeah. this out. And, yeah, uh, early in the morning. I believe we're going to probably start painting this thing. Dude, dude. we're going to start painting, man. Leaving the stone natural and painting some other things i say we go ahead and try to get that side of the house painted that would be awesome heck dude. yeah so i guess that's right now we're gonna go ahead and clean up our little mess here and just catch you guys tomorrow in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here. We came in fired up and we got this whole entire entry door stoned up and it turned out absolutely amazing as you can tell there. Looks original, dude. It looks like that door was always here, man. That looks super good. Dude, on point. And I'm so happy we went with that transition right there. Just kind of just completed this front end. Oh yeah, gave it a little bit of character above the door, man. That looks, man, I can't believe how far we got from a window right there to a full entry door, dude, man. Absolutely amazing. I kind of envisioned this in my head and I guess it's going to stay like this all natural, of course, because we already talked about it. We're just going to be painting that side over there. Yeah, I mean, the match is just spot on. Dude, we can't say that any, any anymore because, I mean, just look at that. You can't even tell if it's old or new brick, man. It looks perfect. I'm thinking we are going to give it a wash, though, with the pressure washer. That way, there's a little bit of, like, a dustiness on the new more, on the new stones. Yeah, there's a little bit now. of a dry mortar on there, and uh, the old stone just needs a wash as well, Exactly. Dude. So we're going to take care of that later. And also this morning, we stopped by the Home Depot, and we already picked up some paint, and I think we got two of the colors that we're gonna go with. We're basically gonna do one huge sample on that side there, but I'm pretty sure we're actually gonna go with this. First off, we got two gallons here of the Mountain Shadow. Yeah, Mountain Shadow. We're gonna go with the darker uh, paint around- Shadow all Mountain. Shadow Mountain. We're gonna do that, the trim, and then we got a big five gallon bucket of the coastal storm coastal storm which As i believe could, yeah you could zoom in on that you can kind of see the color this is a light gray that's a super dark gray i think that'll look perfect you know around the trim oh, dark yeah. colors and light on the hardy so dude i mean we got plenty to do one full side and we did that because i believe it's gonna look good dude so we may we may go with it man yeah we're gonna do this test today or it's not gonna be a test it's gonna be actual paint job but before we actually get to prepping for paint and taping stuff off we're gonna probably use up the rest of this mortar and as you can tell, there is a few stones that actually uh, came down because I think when we were replacing that window or something like yeah, that. Yeah, so. we, we knocked a few stones off. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take care of that little area right there and then we're gonna move on to that side and start painting.
All right, so check that out, guys. We ended up knocking out the rest of that stone as much as we possibly could, using up the rest of the mortar. Then we moved on to the next thing, which was actually paint prepping. And we got a good bit of prep, don't we? What are you munching on there? Well, I'm actually munching on some deer jerky right now, <laughs> some natural deer jerky that one of our buddies goes hunting all the time, and he makes the best deer jerky. Man, we're on a go right now, dude. Yeah, it's already lunchtime. Time is flying, but you know what? You got to have that energy somehow, that stamina, dude. Dude, look how amazing this stuff looks, man. Ooh. I can't wait to go hunt, man. We've never been hunting, and that's one thing that I want to check off my bucket list, like uh, get a deer maybe even out here. Process it? Process it, make some, uh, make some of this jerky, and probably make some deer steak or something like Ooh, that. Deer dude. Burgers, dude, that'd be awesome. But we do need this energy to keep on moving because we still got a good bit more to go. We got it all caulked and we got a little bit of sour cream. I've been using this sour cream with the Doritos that I've been eating right here. You, would you like to do uh, it? I was using that sour cream to caulk some of the holes <laughs> up over there. Yeah, this is exactly what we were using right there and we already got it knocked out, dude. Yep, we got around the windows, which was the most difficult part, but all that's done. I'm sure it's already dry. I mean, prepping this thing is gonna be the longest part, you know, the hardest part, just like a car, you know, prepping it is the hardest part, painting it is the easy part. So what we're gonna do is probably mask off all the stone, mask off the soffits, and then uh, probably use our gun and just spray the hardy first. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then we can just do the trim later. Yeah, like I think, by hand or something I think like that'd that. be a good game plan. Hit all the major stuff first, the hardy with the gun, and then later go with the brush hit the trim. I think it'll be a perfect way, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I can't wait to actually paint it. I mean, it's going to take a good bit of time, but you know what? We're trying to speed. That's why we're getting some uh, some of this protein in us right now. Keep us going. And, uh, I mean, we, we got some chips out back yeah, as well. Yeah. <laughs> we can't run down the mountain because that'll take forever. Literally, that'll yeah. take a whole entire hour. Just Especially to... when you go get food. It takes like 30 minutes down and 30 minutes back. It's an hour Well, surprisingly, gone. I ordered some pizza actually yeah, up that's here. that's crazy. And it's going to take them an hour to get up here. So, Well, good thing that they can at least deliver it because there's nothing, nobody out here that can deliver up the mountain but those guys said they can do it so let's see if, if they actually come out here or not <laughs> let's see what they got but anyways we're gonna go ahead and keep on moving here and hopefully get it masked off let's do it finally spraying our very first coat and dude check that out dude that looks really good dude amazing coverage first off from that that's not even a commercial grade gun that's like for arts and crafts hey, or man. cabinets yeah this is something that you would just use at home just doing some diy stuff but dude it's spraying nice and even dude look at that coat that is perfect way better than rolling dude definitely that went super fast right there and i'm loving the coverage and the color dude the color is amazing oh yeah dude. the color looks really good i can't wait to trim it out and stuff like that but as of right now we're worried about painting this whole entire side but this is actually going by pretty quick this thing does have a wide spray pattern we kind of got a little bit of the soffits right there but you know what i'm just trying to get used to this gun and see how it sprays trying dude. to figure that figure, yeah. figure that sucker out oh yeah definitely but dude 
This looks good. It looks man. amazing. And of course, we did end up taping everything off the stone, the windows, the top, the bottom. Oh, yeah. And we're ready to go. We're ready man. to go. I say we just keep on going and see how far we can get with this paint. Color is sweet. Don't that look really good, man? That coastal storm, dude, that is the perfect, I believe that is the perfect color for this house. Dude, dude. I'm loving that color right there, and I am super happy with that space gun right man, there. this little laser shooter, man, this is, this thing is a beast, man. It painted this whole thing nice, thick coat. I believe we're just gonna do one coat because it covered so well, and it just looks so good and even look at throughout. That, dude, and it is almost dry. There is still a little bit of wet, patchy spots over there because that's the last area where you painted. Yep. But now, I guess, the only place we're actually going to have to throw a little bit more of that gray is where up, up top. Up top right there, because I didn't want to really get too close. I didn't want to spray the white soffits and stuff like that. But we'll just brush that or roll it on. No big deal. But I think we're ready to actually try some trim paint because we may go a different route now with the trim. Because after we painted this, we looked at some pictures and we're like, white may be the way to go. Because we do have black windows, if we do paint the trim around it white, It'll, I think it'll pop really yeah, well. Yeah, that's probably just going to pop. And on top of that, since our soffit, as you can tell up there, is already white and the trim piece is already white. It'll I, just flow properly, dude. Yes, dude. I think that may be our way to go. And plus, we got a five-gallon bucket, right? Yeah, we got a five-gallon bucket that we bought for our snow and it's exterior paint as well. And I, I think we should just do it, dude. Is that stuff high gloss that we bought? I don't really know. I think it's actually kind of like a matte finish because uh, we did paint it and it turned kind of matte towards the back. So Maybe a semi-gloss. But this yeah. right here, this paint right here is actually a flat paint paint yeah it's a flat paint i think that's just the best way to go because it just looks really good you know if you had like a gloss or a semi-gloss i think it actually would get dirtier faster or something like yeah, that. yeah that is true but i guess it is finally time let's start painting some trim dude let's do it Is that the move? I think that's it, man. I mean, we did a little rough, quick coat right here. It didn't cover it completely. And uh, dude, that looks really good, especially around the window. That matches like the top soffits, matches the top trim. And this bottom piece being all white just looks really good. And we went ahead and painted that little corner trim right there, which looks really good as well, yes, dude. Yes, dude, I'm loving that white around all the edges here. And we may even give it a shot with that shadow, mountain shadow on this trim right here, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll probably go over it just to get compare and contrast both of the windows, just to see what's the best fit for us. But as of right now, the white does look really good. But you know what? Let us know what you guys think. Does the white look really good with this? But dude, I mean, we got a lot of work done today, you man. You know what's crazy, dude? We were going to hire somebody to paint as well, dude. I know, man. We decided to like, dude, let's just at least give it a shot. And we did. And look at this, dude. That's pretty dang good, man. Within a couple of hours, we prepped it 
uh, uh, masked it off and we got it painted, man. Yeah. And the results are just outstanding, man. Those are some nice results right there, What's dude. next? What else are we going to do? Who knows, man? There's all types of stuff in the books later on. I mean, we're about to start doing some stuff in the interior, which I'm really excited That's about. That's really going to test, test our expertise, Oh, yeah, huh? definitely. But guys, that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video. We're super happy with all the results of the paint job and all the stonework up front. But we got so much more coming here real soon, so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.